guys, welcome back to another episode of The Forest. Um, we died because we fell off a cliff, because we were being chased by the evil dudes, and now we're in this cave where presumably all of the surviving um, passengers from that flight have been taken to and hung up by their feet. And pretty much just left to die hanging up by their feet. Not very comfortable at all. Um, we need to eat something. Did they put us down here with all of our gear? I wonder. I'm gonna have to check my inventory. Ooh! A flare gun! Okay. Alright. That's getting somewhere. Let's check our inventory. Okay, we still have all of our stuff. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna have to eat something, though. Should I... I just have a feeling there's food down here. I don't know if I want to eat the food in my inventory. What is that? Flares or something. Medicine. Food, of course. Like I said, there's got to be food down here. Hey! Alright, we got a, a decent wood axe. Oh, I can't carry my flare gun? No, there is my flare gun. Okay, it must be glitching out. And, uh, yeah, let's eat the rest of the food. I'm not sure I would actually eat food that was just sitting out like that in this nasty place, but... I'd probably go for a chocolate bar instead, let's be honest. I have no idea how to get out of here. I don't even know if I can get out of here, like... You guys have probably been yelling at me since the episode started that, like... I can't do anything here, but maybe not. Maybe I can. I have no idea. So, that's where I built my shelter. It's over in that direction. You can see it's marked with the little sign for the home. And I really wish all these people weren't just dead. I have no idea. so dark. And this lighter just barely does anything. This looks incredibly dangerous. I don't know if this is actually a passable, a passable way. Although I do see light up there. I'm afraid of that. Just because it, it seems a little bit difficult. And there might be another way. Or maybe not. Maybe that's the only way. What's over here? Oh, we've been over here. Uh, what's over here? What? Looks like we found a way. No, we have not found a way. Have we? It's it's unclear. No, this is the... F God darn it, that's where I was just a minute ago. This is a way that we have not been, though. Yes, I'm pressing control. Pick up the beer. I can't pick up the beer. Okay, whatever. I can't crouch and pick stuff up? What's the deal? I, I don't I don't know. I can't pick that one up. Flicking, flicking, flicking. Ugh. Okay, up we go. This is kind of scary, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I am a little startled by this. Huh. 
huh? I'm looking for a way out. And I have no idea where to look. This is absolutely gorgeous, though, by the way. I'm so happy that they finally made a game where the darkness is supposed to be dark. All too often in games and movies, movies especially, you know, places that are supposed to be really, really dark just aren't. They just put that sort of blue filter on the cameras and stuff. And they do that a lot in games as well, just to make things a lot easier to play. But I like it when they just make it really difficult like this. I'm thinking that this has got to be a way out. We've been going up for quite a while. I definitely feel like Bear Grylls at this point. Just <laughs> kind of going through caves. Although I have not eaten any spiders off the cave walls. I have no intention of doing that. Um, there's more water. But I don't actually see a way out of this place. At least not yet. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Alright. Looks like we got out. Oh, yeah. What now, bitches? You put me in your dark... Oh, wow. Holy cow, that was a huge change. Well, you put me in your dark little cave there. Is that the cave that I was going to wander into earlier? In, a, in the previous episode? It might have been. That's really funny. Maybe it wasn't, though. I have no map. So it's very unclear as to where I am and how far away from the shelter that we started building is. And the other issue is those freaking dudes were right on top of it. So there's no telling as to whether we can actually use that shelter or not. It used to tell me I was finding passengers when I walked up to um, those types of tents and stuff, but didn't say that for those tents. Oh, and we need to be picking up rocks, too, because we couldn't build our frickin' fire, and that's probably why we got killed. It was dark, we didn't have a fire. We really didn't have anything to protect ourselves with. But at least now we have a flare gun. And knowledge. Because we've learned a little bit. So hopefully we can be better prepared. Let's pick up all the sticks. A good name for this game instead of the forest, which kind of sounds like a placeholder name to me. It doesn't really sound like a, like a, a release title that they'll go with. Um, so they should probably maybe choose the name Pickup Sticks because that's a pretty decent act. Um, uh, you're 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 missing your you're missing stuff, dude. You're missing arms and legs and all kinds of stuff. Oh shit! Get away from me! Dude, what the fuck is your problem, bro? There's all kinds of them here. This is... No, get away from me. You too, buddy. Combat in this game is not flushed out, and it's so wonky, and we're dead. Okay. Yeah, that didn't go very well. So, do we spawn... Ah. Uh, well, that didn't go very well. Um, yeah. Permadeath. Oh boy. I actually had no idea what would happen after I got killed by them the second time. But now we know. I guess... You die once, you get to spawn in that evil cave, you die twice, and that's game over. 
That's very interesting. All right. Well, I uh, will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we can actually build a shelter and build a fire and maybe um, learn how to defend ourselves a little bit better. All right. I will see you guys next time. <laughs>